At the end of every one of my videos, I say, learn something every day. What that means to me is anything that happens in my life that I was not expecting, a mistake that I make on a welding project, uh, somebody cut me off in traffic, you know, somebody just not agreeing with me, some things that frustrate me, any outside circumstances or anybody else in my life that um, usually causes me to be frustrated or upset for whatever reason, uh, learn something every day means to me, how can I use these situations, these unexpected situations to grow as an individual? How can I learn from it? What can I gain from these situations? How can I make myself better? That way, next time this happens, I will not feel this frustration. That is what learn something every day means to me. One of my goals in life is to help you live a better quality of life. And one of the things that I keep hearing over and over and over again, here lately I've been listening to Jim Rohn, Brian Tracy, uh, Zig Ziglar, a few others, and the one thing that they all have in common is this very concept, which is focusing on what I can control, not Anything else that happens in my life, not trying to change other people, not trying to change what had happened, or not trying to change any outside circumstance, but focus only on what I can control. And so I have to believe, and, and I truly do believe, that is one of the biggest, most important things that we can learn here on earth to live a better quality of life, is focusing on ourselves and what we can control control and I hope that this little tidbit helps you in whatever you're going through right now in your life. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's grab some coffee and go pick up some material. Let's go play truck driver. Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing truck driver. Just pulled up to the railroad yard you might be able to tell there's some material back here. I gotta pick up some material for uh, two different jobs. Uh, boat dock job just some pipe 2 and 3 8 pipe and some 2 and 7 8 pipe got to repair a boat dock ramp and then uh, building a loft so we got to get some a 10 by 14 loft seven foot high so we're gonna get some six inch channel some three inch square tube and a couple of other things so <laughs> that's what we're doing today playing truck driver that's why I'm, why I'm wearing my collar T see truck drivers get to get to wear polos they don't have to wear welding shirts every day you know what I'm saying all right, we're running here and, and uh, get this ticket made for this other material. I got one ticket already made the other day and uh, had the customer call and pay for it. But this ticket, uh, this customer gave me a down payment to pay for material, so I got to go in here and pay for it. But I got to get a ticket made first, so here we go. Here's the first part of it. This is for the boat dock. Got several joints of uh, two and seven eighths here, used two and seven eighths because we're going to make a our own uh, a-frame apparatus to lift up each side of the boat dock then i got some two and three eighths to two and three eighths and some smaller pipe to rebuild the boat dock that's uh broke and then they're getting the uh six inch channel right now and and all the other stuff that right there is just some cute material that's like some inch and a quarter by three quarter it says that is I just love that I've never seen such a thing Wow how incredible so one of the reasons that I like railroad yard is because of what they're doing right now where's it at right here they're taking all my material over here to this rack and they're banding it all together just like they did this load that's on our truck already i really love that that's a really good value add for a company so it's really really handy it's easier to strap down and like in my case right now i'm picking up two different materials so i can keep them both separate on my trailer just picking up material today yeah, this is uh, this will go for a loft. I'm building a loft for a guy, 
And then uh, that other stuff's to repair a boat dock up at Grand Lake. Oh, yeah. Do what? There's some fish wire up there. I don't know if I'm not a big fisherman, but <laughs> not yet. My my wife's uncle is the one I'm fixing the boat dock for. He's he's definitely a fisherman. Well, I'm fishing. It's pretty easy. <laughs> just get out on a boat with a little dumper on it. Yeah. Put it down on the bottom. Hey, and just there, make like a reel or two up and then we'll just grab hold of it. You are awesome, boys. What'd you do before you worked at railroad yard? I've been in oil field most of my life, so I worked at the tank farm in Cushing. Okay, yeah. Before that, I pumped some wells, and then before that, I worked on a rig. What'd you do on a rig? Uh, I was an operator, uh, door hand, uh, dairy can. What'd you like best? I kind of like being dairy can. Really? Yeah. A lot more exciting. Is that why? Was it more exciting? Like, was it, was it like just? Some of it, yeah, they would, they would run at full speed, you know, and I'd be right there with the pipe waiting to cut off the latches. Yeah. They ran pretty fast and pretty soon. I sure appreciate you. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler Austin. Austin, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Austin. Appreciate your help. All right. Got our six inch channel square tube for the loft. Uh, we'll have to get some wood, some two by sixes or two by eights. I haven't decided yet for the floor of the loft. Uh, more about that in a later video. Next stop is Stillwater Steel to swap this oxygen and acetylene bottle. Yeah, buddy. You betcha. Truck driving today, boys. Truck driving. Favorite part about truck driving is get to sip on a little coffee while you're making progress come on when i'm out doing a welding job i can't drink coffee and weld at the same time or could i anyway headed down the road we'll go swap some bottles and then that will be it for today as far as uh out and about work i gotta finish editing a video the rest of today. Ease on around here to the other side here. Since I got my trailer on, I'm going to pull up next to that bottle truck there because I swapped the bottles right here on this side of the building.
now we just run in here and tell them what we had and they'll call somebody over here to swap them and we'll load them back on the truck <laughs> come on Talking to my buddy Kyle, it's time to get on down the road. If I can get this oxygen bottle loaded, come on. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something possibly about socializing. A lot of questions that I get over the years or that I have got over the years is how to get, you know, a job in the welding industry, how to get more welding work as a, you know, a mobile uh, welder contractor, as, as a welding contractor. Um, advice that I would give somebody just getting started in the industry. Uh, one of my top pieces of advice is socializing. So just like I did at Railroad Yard today, I asked that employee that loaded our trailer, we found out his name was Tyler, I asked him about himself. I got to know him. And uh, that's one of the biggest keys to, to socializing is having the confidence to ask others about them. Uh, a book that comes to mind that I read years ago is by Dale Carnegie, I believe, is How to Win Friends and Influence People. And one of the things that stands out as I'm talking right now uh, from that book is asking others about themselves people we we as people love talking about ourselves so if you just reach out to somebody if you have the courage to you know ask somebody something about themselves just start with where are you from or where did you work before you worked here or how long have you been working here you know uh, ask them about themselves they will usually open up because they like talking about their situation. I'm not saying all of them will just pour their whole lives out, but it's a good starting point. And that's something that I recommend to uh, help you start socializing, you know, is just ask about the other person and talk very little about yourself. If you noticed, I asked mostly all about him. I didn't talk very much about myself at all. I asked him about his life, what his experience was, what he enjoyed most about said thing, this, that, and the other. So that would be my, my advice to somebody just trying to get into the welding industry or uh, have more social skills in general uh, when, when growing a business, starting a business, things of that nature. I believe there's a time and a place to be selfish and there's a time and a place to not be selfish. Whenever you're socializing, don't be selfish ask about them be curious about their life the time to be selfish in my opinion is whenever quote unquote bad things happen in our life be selfish in those moments and think to yourself what can i gain from this situation what can i learn from this situation how can i grow personally internally from this situation that way next time something similar happens I do not feel as frustrated. Hope you have an awesome weekend. Don't forget to check out our website, arosswelding.com, for more helpful resources and our online store. Also, check out our online trade school, arosswelding.school. You can find the pipe fence course, learn how to build pipe fence. You can also find the quick rig course, learn how to build a welding rig at an affordable rate, at a fairly fast pace. And you can also learn how to brand and market your business. Our goal with the trade school is to help you learn faster. The quicker you learn something, the quicker you can start living a better quality of life. Thanks for watching, and remember, learn something every day. I should change that to learn from your mistakes every day. Grow from your mistakes every day. How can I grow from this mistake? How can I grow from this uncomfortable situation?